This is Dabu7. You have to use discernment out here when trying to weed through all the BS to get down to the truth of things. It's no secret that the whole Pizzagate thing was put out there as a honeypot to draw in individuals, to target individuals, all on the heels of a real event where they silenced an individual, one of which they went out of their way to push it through the mainstream media outlets to let everyone know what happened. They simply could have kept quiet. They could have never published this the way that it, that it came out. If you go back and you look at how it was molded, they did this intentionally. There's been many other people knocked off where the mainstream evening news never says a word about them. They did about Seth Rich. And it seems to me Seth Rich was the man that was taken out, executed, as a warning to anyone else involved, you know, kind of like JFK. Kill him and tell everyone else, this is what you can expect if you cross the line. Well, all of a sudden, Donna Brazil, which was at the center of the DNC, she was running the whole thing. She's put out a book. She says that she is fearing for her own life. She does admit there's shadowy entities within our government that are doing things, but you have to read the fine print. You also have to see the narrative that she's sticking to here that has been destroyed about the Russians. She goes on here to say that, you know, even more than the Russians, she said that she feared, feared the possible retribution from shadowy elements within the campaign. So more than fearing Russians or anyone else, she feared the shadow elements inside the establishment. That's who took out Seth Rich, and she knows it. And she put the little inklings of a hint of truth there, a warning as to what was going on right there in her book. So she wasn't going to come out on stage and say anything. But I find it very interesting that uh, she, she captions the th things the way that she does. I mean, she feared for her life after this and is probably still sitting on the fence there of, all right, now what's going to happen? Now that I put this book out, she was careful in her wording in some of the things that she stated, but still, she lets the cat out of the bag. The shadow elements of this government were the ones that were more than likely behind the whole thing with Seth Rich. And that those same elements, not the Russians, same ones that removed Seth Rich from this world, are the same ones that she fears. So do you see it now? Do you see it in the slightest form? A woman here trying to scream bloody murder? in only so many ways that she can. Given that she was a sellout, she played the game too, she was a part of the whole thing, but when people's lives are on the line and they get backed into a corner and they think that this could really be it, things are said. Things are put out there as a last-ditch attempt to shed light on things. And in some's mind, if they don't do that, even if they do get killed, then... People will never know who really killed them. And you have to think in her mind, she's probably thinking, if this happens to me, no one's going to know who did it, just like it's going to go down like Seth Rich. So they're all sitting there scratching their heads like, what do we do? And this is the position they've put them in through fear. You see, and trying to check them. And having all these people you take the oath that uh, they're going to do whatever it takes for the establishment to keep this thing going, not to defend the country, not to defend the people, not to defend your freedom, but to defend the establishment. You get it? This is why we say Columinati. Interesting read here. I'll leave a link. This has been Dabu7, and this is Columinati.